Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Where are we? Hey, we're at Vista. <gasps> this is our first time at Vista together. Oh, really? We are so excited. We are having a Christmas shopping trip at Vista Village. So I'm going to take you guys around with me. I'm going to try and show you as much as I possibly can. As you know, it's quite hard to film that, but I'm going to do it without hopefully getting kicked out of the stores. And just a disclaimer, I've worked Vista before years ago, but I'm not working with them today. This is not an ad. Let's go shopping. <laughs> It's so festive, I'm so excited. Guys, we came at 8am, best decision ever. It's empty, so we're gonna try and get our shopping done. Yeah, there's now. nobody here. Well, at this end anyway. At this end, so we're gonna just try and get everything done so that we can eat. There's a van store. Oh, I've never seen that before. Okay, why do you wanna go first? Yeah. <laughs> See ya. I'm always so impressed with Prada Vista Village. They always have so many nice things, but this time around the colors were a little bit wacky, but I do love this style of bag. The items tend to be around a thousand pounds for these kind of bags. Guys, they've still got my bag in. Hello. Here we are. I love these with the little Prada logo on them. Nice. If they were in nude. Oh, Prada flip-flops, how cute. Mew Mew is inside Prada and the shoes are always so affordable. Yeah, they're so nice. Beauties. How much? How much? Guess how much are they originally? A thousand. Yeah. Guess how much they are? 400? 180. 180? Get them, get two pairs. I usually rush straight to the shoe section because as you can see, they're literally so affordable. Usually you can get Prada shoes for 200 to 300 pounds and they also always have really nice puffer jackets. They don't really change their stock that much. These tend to be around 500 to 700 pounds. Great for skiing. It's Celeron time. They usually have some really good stuff. Yes, shoes are the one in here. I feel like you might find a good crossbody in there. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Cute. You got palm tree on them. Oh, and then these ones are the ones that have it on the heel. Cute. Why is that always has such good bags in here? Oh, there's these. They're the famous boots. I saw them on Farfetch as well the other day. 400? 400, not bad. YSL has such good stock at Vista Village. Generally, the bags are around a thousand pounds. You can sometimes get them a little bit cheaper. The colors tend to be quite wacky, but if you're lucky, you'll find a beige or a black or a really nice khaki. And these burgundy ones were amazing. I could buy everything in here. It's from here last time. I got a nice white one. Got darker colors this time. Oh, uh, that's the bag that I always wanted, the sac de jour. That's a bit of me, yeah. This was a bag that I always wanted, but the problem is they're really heavy, yeah. which is why I never got one. Yeah. I'm not a fan of this. What do you think to the color of it? Do you think it's just no, and I should go for something more neutral? Oh my gosh, I love that so much. You. I don't know if I'd just go off the color. Okay, YSL always have the most amazing things. They had loads of dark colors, they had some really nice khaki ones. The bag that you saw me with, the kind of leopard print one, was 970, so I'm leaving it for a little bit and I might go back. But it was really nice, really good quality, and I've never seen anything like that. So I think next, oh, I see Burberry. I think we will be heading into Burberry next. I always get asked about my scarf, and this scarf doesn't actually go into the sale here. However, I did get a trench from here before, and they have good trenches for both vlogging. Okay, these Chloe bags were amazing. You can get them for around 700 pounds, but they are also 700 online. I love this one so much, the color. I feel like everyone has this one with the C on. Oh, I'm loving the nude colors. Yeah, an additional 40% off. I actually have some Chloe boots on my list for Christmas, and these are so um, utterly gorgeous. Oh, insane. They don't have the Betty boots that I want, but they do have Gorgeous boots. I love that. I can't believe they're like 800. That's insane. Oh my gosh, so many trenches. Maybe I'm gonna find one. Wow, trench heaven. I've never seen a standard Czech colored scarf in Burberry, but they did have these colors. The scarf I'm wearing is my own that was full price. Here we go. So I found one that's got the collar here. Quite nice. It's 
Toss this up. So I'm specifically looking to replace my trench with one. <gasps> I found one! I've got it under the pillow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Guys, they have this scarf. It's actually really similar to mine. Oh no, it's not. It is on one side, and then it's reversible on the other side. How much are we talking? How much are we talking? 315. It's kind of similar, it's just reversible. Ta da! Burberry! It's almost like you made me sad. When I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm doing on you. I'm wearing five, that is so classy. I love that. I actually have an amazing wool coat on Burberry. It's insane. So, this is like the reversible scarf. This is really cute. They've got the huge padded reversible Burberry scarf. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh my god, I just want a Burberry puffer to be honest. So this is the wool one I really like. This is $7.50. Nice, right? Perfect. Emily's going for this puffer. I am. We love it. I've tried it in so the, nice. I've tried a few different sizes. This is the bigger one. I just want it to be warm. You're like a football mom. I love the hood. It's so good. Okay, so they seem to have like made the Burberry store new. How good was that? That was by far Emily bought the puffer. She bought the mum puffer. Oh, I so happy. I didn't buy the wool coat because I might come back. I want to go to Dior and look if they have a bag that I want. But I am so, so, so thrilled because that was definitely the best Burberry experience ever. Oh, it's the best thing when you have a purpose for your trip and you actually find the thing like you do, that you were looking for. Most of the Gucci bags are around a thousand pounds. You can get lucky and get some for around 800. And they had some gorgeous white ones in this time, which I absolutely loved with the Gucci Mom One logo. Emily was saying because my blisters is currently so bad, I need to get some back plus. No, I really, loafers. Want, I really want the furry loafers, but the plain ones, not the fancy. Betsy has the plain ones. How much are they? 135. Oh my gosh, they're 135. Boom. I could never, but they're so cool. I actually love Gucci shoes because I have really wide feet, and Gucci shoes are some of the best ones for my wide feet. Seriously. They did have these new season backpacks in, though, which I thought were really cool. More kind of for men I would say but they were actually really cool shoes in Gucci tend to be really affordable we're talking like 300 pounds for Gucci shoes however the colors are a bit wacky so it was nice to see some white trainers now we're getting to the good shoes hello oh my gosh I've always wanted these ones it's so nice no price on anything today which is quite annoying how oh, nice they're lovely, aren't they? I love these. They're actually really different. Why do they say kitten on them? How weird. It's very Harry Styles. Oh yeah, I was just thinking, I actually like those apart from the heel. The shoe's always very hit and miss in here. They've also got Gucci tracksuits, which I love. I know, I love it's the puffers. Extra, but I, like it I love that tote bag, the Gucci tote bag. That's really nice, like the floral one. Mm. Gucci puffer jacket, how insane. I love the things with the bamboo handles to wear them. <gasps> They're so nice. I can barely bend down right now. Let's have a look. Oh. 575. Cute. Oh, look, we've got some more months up here as well. I have one of these. Three hundred and seventy-five pounds, and it was one thousand and seventy. I'm shocked. Is it because of the colour? Because last time I came in, these were like a thousand. Are you joking? Oh my gosh, it's because it's like a Valentine's special one. <gasps> that makes a mockery that I paid like two grand for mine. I'm sorry, but it does. I can't believe it. Oh my 
gosh, Gucci baby. Oh my gosh, this baby carrier is so nice. <gasps> Look at these little Gucci shoes for children. <gasps> oh. Yeah, the Gucci kids stuff is so nice. Oh my gosh, look at the Gucci hats. Oh my gosh, will this fit on my hat? I get asked about Gucci belts every time and this is a selection they have and you'll never get the traditional one in here, but they do have this G one. Every time I come, I want a Gucci Yankees puffer. I know it's for men, but it's so sick. Men's Gucci is always so nice. I love it so much. Yeah, this is lovely. I just think men's Gucci is nicer. Oh, they've got a nice black backpack as well. Oh, good stuff in the men's range. Should I get Matt a Gucci tracksuit for Christmas? He'd love it. His friend has one. They're so cool. You just got to be the right kind of person to pull it off. Like old school Gucci stuff, I'd love it. The men's shoes are actually better than the women's shoes. They have the sliders, which are gorgeous. Unfortunately, no prices, but I'm assuming they were probably around 200 pounds from previous visits. Some of them were a bit wacky, but the trainers were nice. Obviously not the bold ones, unless that's your kind of style, but they had some gorgeous loafers and stuff in really neutral colors. I would have definitely bought these as a Christmas gift. How stunning. I know if my boyfriend was with me, he'd have definitely really liked these colors. And yeah, around 300 pounds, actually really good. I love beauty shoes because I feel like they fit so nicely with the belts obviously no double G belt I know you guys always ask but it's never gonna be that absolutely I love these tracky bottoms so cool okay so Gucci was good I feel like they don't change their stock in there that much but there was some new season stuff and they had like the fluffy backpacks which were amazing and they had some really nice white Gucci bags with the double G at Marmont. Yes. They had good shoes as well this time. And there was like no one in there. That's well, so safe. I feel like this is the safest Vista Village has ever felt like. It always feels safe, mm. but I think because we've come so early, there's barely anyone around. We're hand sanitizing everywhere, and we haven't actually been near anyone, which is really good. Gucci was good. Really? I know you guys always ask about Gucci, and some of the bags that were like bold colors were 300 pounds. They had a lot of um, like wash bags, men's accessories. Men's were really good as well, good. yeah. Yes. Very exciting. There's always loud colors in there, but I kind of I love it, not gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna try and get into Dior next. I'm hoping I can find a Christmas present, then over to the white company. Dior is always my favorite store at Vista Village. Just stuff still expensive, but such a great selection. They've got the mini, I don't know what you call it. I just, it's like a, the famous like one. Oh, I love these, the purse, and they're like iPad case. So nice. White one, or yeah. the one that says Ja Dior. No, the white one at the bottom. <gasps> I love seeing the Dior jewelry. They have such nice stuff. I literally love that. This one's only 230. Yeah, this is usually all gone by the end of the day. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And so affordable as well. Oh my gosh. So nice. I always love everything. Oh, look. They've got Dior belts as well. I really want this bag. I think it's still around 2000. So nice, even the scarves are nice. I love these, 465. I'm tempted by those. Shoes, so cute. Oh, I love these sandals. These are a bit of me. Oh my God, they're only 340. I'd get those for our trips coming up. How lovely. This bag was 1,700 and unfortunately it wasn't crossbody, but it was so stunning. How stunning, I just love anything sparkly, but flat shoes aren't flattering on me. Whoa. Ignore my feet guys, I've got these really weird tights on. Actually really nice. They only have five and a half. It's the only day this week when it's not raining. We got so lucky. Dior was amazing. The bags that I wanted, unfortunately, they weren't long enough to be crossbody, so I didn't get one. They were reduced to like 1,700 from like 3,000, which is amazing. Great. Emily was like, um, that's amazing. Look at Chanel in comparison. And I got myself the sandals. We're so torn because we want to go and carry on shopping, but we also want to go and sit on the terrace yes. and have the coffee. In the sun. So we're going to quickly go to the white company before it gets busy because yeah, I really would like to get some now. gifts and some pajamas. Pajamas, but Dior was amazing. They always have such good things in there. So they have the dressing gowns for £36. £36 for the dressing gowns. I know, shock horror. And look how nice this wreath is. It's £22. It's so nice. This is a great gift. 
it's the best gift and it's only yeah I got my mum one once I want this stocking how, how much is it oh I'm getting one for the house <gasps> that's insane I'm getting one. Oh my gosh I love it you are coming with me I'm always shocked at how affordable the dressing gowns are so good I wanted some pajamas that were long sleeved and unfortunately there's only strappy ones but I am gonna get myself this because I think it's gorgeous. Is this one gonna be okay in here? Yes, sir. The white company was amazing, although I literally it was the busiest store out of all of them we've been in and obviously I'm trying to be super safe so I ran in, grabbed two stockings that were reduced to twelve pounds each for presents and then didn't really look at anything else. They didn't have any pajamas but they did have dressing gowns for thirty seven pounds and and what else did they have? They didn't have any hand wash. I wanted to get my mum some hand wash for Christmas. But they usually do a pre-Christmas sale online anyway. So I'll keep an eye out for that. I think we're gonna go grab some kind of coffee now. We got distracted and fell into Celine. Unfortunately, we got told off with filming in there. Sorry. Christian the Bouton is new, but the queue is very long. And they've got a Charlotte Tilbury now. And a Joe Malone and obviously Fendi. Look, they've got a little Rococo that has hot chocolate, brownies, mulled wine, nuts. We should definitely get one later, and do you know what? We'll have it with our crumble. Is that an amazing idea? Oh, Givenchy. They have Ugg as well. Stuart Wiseman. I now have two pairs that I'm obsessed with and I will happily have another one. I actually want to get some Stuart Wiseman's that have a smaller heel like this so I can just wear them all day every day because they're so comfortable. So I have like the mid ones. My heel's about this height and then I have some black ones that have an even bigger heel and I was thinking oh maybe I get some more flat ones so I can wear them all day every day. How much? So these are 249, that's actually ridiculous. I've never seen them that cheap in my whole entire existence. And these ones, oh, they're not knee high. See how much these ones are, because I really like these ones. I feel like they're not gonna be as flattering because they're flat. These ones are 375. So they're not as flattering because they're flat, but you can actually walk in them. And they keep your legs warm. Emily likes a khaki color. This is like the height of my black ones and I love them but they're for more like going out. I love that colour. They're literally gorgeous. Yeah, those ones are too flat. These ones are too high so I need like medium in this colour. Yes, these are my ones. They're insane but now I'm like I want them in this colour as well. These ones are 375 from 750. Oh, do I just get the nude colour as well? So nice. Coffee break done and now, by the way I'm hobbling because I have a really two bad ankles actually, um, I'm heading to the car to drop off the bags before we go and see some more shops. They can't do this still without going to the crusade. This is like a hidden gem and they don't let many people in the shop at once like at all so it's like mm. Really? I've never even been to Le Creuset and Vista before. I have to queue every time. This is my first experience. I love anything in like the almond colour. Mm -hmm. You know, like this almondy cream colour. That's my favourite! <laughs> If you like Michael Kors as a brand, the items are so affordable. As you can see, £129 for bags. Some of the purses start at £50. They have all of the traditional totes. It's a very busy shop, but they have really good prices. And I feel like that's why it's busy because if Michael Kors is your kind of vibe, you are gonna get a really good bargain. It's actually one of the cheapest in the whole village.
you've got GC Couture, which I love. You've got all the tracksuits, all the hoodies, literally. 15 year old M is going wild for this. They had some little cute purses as well and some cute shoes, but the tracksuits are the main deal. I'm gonna lie, Juicy Couture tracksuits are my guilty pleasure. I grew up being obsessed with them and I am already excited for lunch. There are so many good foodie options at Vista, like this prep shop. Just so many good ones. So, who home? I want everything for the new house. Ooh, as in a further 20% off. Oh, so cute. I want some of the glassware, I think. Oh, I love that. Oh, everything. Oh my gosh, there's these trees on it. Oh, look, they've got the little things, you know, that they have. So I really wanted to get some of these. But it's 50 pounds for a set of two, and they have them at Selfridges for literally 50 pounds for a set of six. I love the house robes, so I think I might get myself one. 80 pounds to 24 pounds. I know, they're so cute. Oh yeah, so they are discounted. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, and here they are, discounted. That's nice. Look at the little bear. I love anything with like the bear logo on. So they have a very similar version of my coat for 449. I love them both. I actually really want to see last year. Yeah. I actually prefer them both. I like it. I like this too. It's different. Yeah. Oh, crumble with extra custard. So we are going on our separate cars now home. Have you had a good day? Uh, I've had the best day. I'm so glad we got up and did it and got it all done. It was so, I don't know, it was just a really nice festive day. Wasn't what it? was your favourite store? Which was the best one, do you think? Uh, the Crumble. The Crumble! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so over the moon with my new coat. Yes, I was literally going to say Burberry. The store itself was gorgeous. The nicest time I've ever been into Burberry. The stock was amazing. The only reason I didn't buy the coat is because they texted my boyfriend and he was like, Em, you already have a Burberry trench and a Burberry wool coat. You do not need another brown wool coat. Yeah. But maybe I'll come back in like January for January sales and if it's even more reduced, I'll get it then. I do think though with like, you know, obviously looking at the pros of the current world situation, Vista is the nicest it's ever been. Oh my gosh. It's so popular. It was so popular. And now they have like a reason to limit people in stores. People don't yeah. mind queuing. They've got a whole system where you can like book slots. It just makes so much sense. It felt so safe. Yeah. We didn't feel rushed at all. We got here early. We'd been there barely anyone because we timed it to precision. Yeah. And we were saying there was so much that we could have bought. We didn't need it. So we also feel like we've been really economical as well. Like, yeah. is that the right word? We've been, we've been kind to our purses. So we bought a few things, but we didn't like buy for the sake of it. there was a lot of stuff that I felt like I really wanted it, but I didn't need it. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching, guys. Come say hi on Instagram at mchillx.